The Harsh Reality, Unraveling the Tragic Mysteries of Mount Everest. Hello travelers. Thanks for joining us today. Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth, has long captured the imaginations of adventurers and climbers. Standing at a breathtaking height of 29,032 feet, 8,848 meters, conquering Everest is an audacious feat that beckons the intrepid souls seeking the ultimate challenge. However, behind the allure of this majestic mountain lies a somber truth. The perilous journey to its summit claims lives every climbing season. In this video, we will delve into the multifaceted reasons behind the tragic deaths on Everest and explore the complexities that make it one of the world's most hazardous undertakings. Unpredictable weather conditions. One of the foremost factors contributing to the loss of lives on Everest is the mountain's erratic and unforgiving weather patterns. The extreme altitude creates a unique atmospheric environment where sudden storms can materialize with little warning. Climbers can find themselves stranded at high altitudes, exposed to freezing temperatures and blinding snow, which can lead to hypothermia, frostbite, and ultimately, death. Overcrowding and commercialization. In recent years, Everest has witnessed a surge in commercial expeditions, with numerous guiding companies offering guided climbs to amateur adventurers. This commercialization has led to an overwhelming number of climbers attempting the ascent during the short climbing window, usually in April and May. The resulting overcrowding on narrow routes and bottlenecks, like the infamous Hillary Step, leads to dangerous delays and increases the risk of accidents. Inadequate experience and training. Many climbers, driven by the allure of conquering Everest, attempt to climb without the necessary experience and training for such a demanding endeavor. Ascending Everest requires technical mountaineering skills, high altitude experience, and an ability to manage extreme conditions. Inexperienced climbers are ill-prepared to cope with the challenges they face, increasing their vulnerability to life-threatening situations. Oxygen deprivation and altitude sickness. The death zone, above 26,247 feet, 8,000 meters, is named for the lack of oxygen that exists at such altitudes. Even with supplemental oxygen, climbers in this zone are at risk of developing high altitude pulmonary edema, HAPE, and high altitude cerebral edema, ASE, both of which can be fatal if not immediately addressed. Unfortunately, the effects of oxygen deprivation can impair judgment, leading climbers to make critical errors. Sherpa fatigue and risks. Sherpas, the local ethnic group renowned for their mountaineering expertise, play an integral role in supporting climbers during expeditions. The dangerous work they undertake, such as fixing ropes and carrying heavy loads, puts them at significant risk. Tragically, many Sherpas have lost their lives while trying to ensure the safety and success of their clients. Mount Everest, with its soaring peaks and awe-inspiring grandeur, continues to captivate adventurers, yet the price of reaching its summit is undeniably high. The reasons behind the multitude of deaths on Everest are complex and intertwined. From unpredictable weather conditions to overcrowding, inadequate experience, and the unforgiving death zone, the mountain's risks are ever-present. As climbers and governing bodies contemplate the future of Everest expeditions, a delicate balance must be struck between preserving the spirit of adventure and ensuring the safety and sustainability of those who dare to ascend. Acknowledging the inherent risks and taking necessary precautions, coupled with responsible mountaineering practices, can help mitigate the tragic toll that Everest has exacted on brave souls seeking to conquer its heights. Ultimately, respect for the mountain, the environment, and one's own limitations are paramount in the quest to challenge the roof of the world. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, safe travels.